Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate low-cost OE monitoring system using ESP8266 with direct query to PostgreSQL database. This is an improvement on the previous concept, utilizing ESP for an OE monitoring system. In the previous concept, we installed four relays on the machine, which were then connected to GPIO on the ESP8266 to indicate the machine status conditions. From the ESP, the machine status would be published to an MQTT broker using an internet connection. The data received by the MQTT broker would be processed by Node-RED, installed on a computer, which would then record it into a PostgreSQL database. So, in this concept, we require an MQTT broker and Node-RED to record data into the database. In addition to receiving messages from the ESP and recording them in the database, Node-RED is also used as a dashboard for monitoring OEE. Different from the previous concept, in this setup, triggers from the machine's relays will be received by the especially subsequently, the ESP will directly record data into the PostgreSQL database based on the machine's conditions. Therefore, there is no need to utilize an MQTT broker, and Node-RED will solely serve as an OEE monitoring dashboard. This is an example code that I'm using. I'm utilizing the simple PGSQL library to perform queries to the database. In this code, it is using Wi-Fi for connection, and here is the configuration for the PostgreSQL database. Then, this is an example of the ID machine representing the machine we'll be monitoring as a reference. This is the input configuration used, they are signals for start, downtime, output counter, and defect counter. Apologies, I won't be sharing the code for this video. This is part of the multi-device low-cost OEE monitoring system package. Please refer to my video on the multi-device OEE monitoring system. If you're interested, feel free to contact me via email. This is the wiring on the ESP. I'm using the LED output as an indicator when the ESP is connected to the PostgreSQL database. There are four inputs used, start to calculate loading time, downtime to measure downtime, output as a counter output, and defect as a defect counter. Now let's take a look at the OEE monitoring system dashboard. On the left screen is the Virtual Reality OEE Monitoring System dashboard, which I created using Unreal Engine. And on the right is the OEE Monitoring System using Node-RED dashboard. When the Start button is pressed, we can see on the Node-RED dashboard that the machine turns green, and on the Virtual Dashboard, the green light on the tower lamp will illuminate. And the loading time starts to be counted. When the downtime button is turned on, it means the machine is in trouble or downtime. On the Node-RED dashboard, the machine's color changes to red, and on the virtual dashboard, the red light on the tower lamp will illuminate. And the downtime starts to be counted. In the green state of the machine, when the output button is pressed, on the virtual dashboard, the machine will animate the door opening and on the Node-RED dashboard, a product will be seen moving on the conveyor out of the machine. As an indicator, the output will increase, and the output record will be incremented. If the defect button is pressed, the defect count will increase. On the virtual dashboard, we can see the number of defects in a red-colored basket. If the start button is released, it means the machine is in a off state. On the Node-RED dashboard, the machine changes its color to gray, and a yellow button on the virtual dashboard will illuminate. Let's take another look at the changes displayed on each dashboard when the buttons are pressed. On the virtual dashboard, there is also a chart to display the OE factor values, namely availability, performance, and quality, and of course, the OE value graph. Thank you for watching. 
In this video, we can conclude that we can use ESP as an IoT device for the OEE monitoring system. And ESP does not require additional components because it can directly query or record data into the database. If you are interested in the multi-device OEE monitoring system package, please contact me via email. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss any other videos. See you in the next video.